Hello guys, welcome to the channel The Amazon Hacker. Today I'm going to solve the box overpass from Try Hack Me. So before getting into the walkthrough, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Okay, I'm in the site tryhackme.com. Already joined the room overpass and also deployed the box. Okay, let's start the walkthrough with and map scan to perform a map scan. Let's open your terminal and just type sudo and map as as we denumerate version dash sc to run default scripts that's o for os fingerprinting and the machine's ip okay let's scan to get completed i'm just going to stop it here and get the scan results okay as you can see only two ports are open port 22 is ssh and port 80 http let's start the enumeration is http port let's paste type in the browser Okay, we got some sort of page. Welcome to our pass a secure manage password manager with support for Windows, Linux, Mac OS and more. Okay, let's start uh, direct resourcing. I'm going to use a uh, GoBuster to do that. Okay, just type GoBuster dar that's u for URL. And that's w for word list, so I'm going to use uh, you just say a word list dub come under text and just give the extension of PSP and TXT ST for time uh, trades of around 100 and yes that's time out of uh, time out of around 100 second okay let's run the scan okay go to found this directory slash admin of the source and view what it is Okay, kind of got something. Please log in to access this content. So, got a login page. So, this kind of hint in the question also. So, it says that it's OWASP top 10 vulnerability and do not brute force. Okay, so it's either SQL injection or broken authentication. Let's check for broken authentication first. Let me view if there are any cookies or not. Let's go to inspect element, control shift I, or right click and go to inspect element. Okay, first let's just type in a username. Okay, there are no so there are not any cookies in here and it's like a javascript file also hmm there seem to be a uh, three javascript files main.js login.js and cookie.js that is cookie.js and main.js are just usual javascript files but i don't think login.js is yeah usually present in web pages okay let's check what it does Okay, you can see here in this part if there is no cookie then it says just incorrect credentials else uh, i will just set a new cookie and take us to this admin page so if you kind of set ourselves a new co cookie then hopefully we'll get in this uh, admin page okay so i like to use cookie editor so it's a plugin for mozilla firefox you can just search in google for cookie editor plugin and get it okay so so a token name is uh, session token as you can see here is session token okay, let's just set a random value okay, let's save it okay now let's try to refresh it and hopefully we'll get inside this admin page okay you kind of got inside the admin page we've got some sort of uh, encrypted sss keys the username is james let's copy those sss keys and i'm going to use john the report to uh, crack the passphrase from this sss keys if you don't know how to use on the report uh, to get sss keys i have made a separate video on that also you can just check that out i'll leave the link in the description below okay, let's copy this yeah, encrypted sss keys in our machine
so now we need to convert this encrypted SSS keys to hash form so that we can crack it with John. So for that, I will use SSS to John. Okay, let's first locate it. Okay, it's located in this directory. User share zone and SSS to zone dot pi. Okay, you let me clear the screen first. So it's located in users share zone and SSS to zone dot pi. So our input file is IDRSA and let let it output is has. Okay, you can see here that now our IDRSA SSS keys is just converted into brute forceable form. Okay, now let's use John the report to just brute force and get passphrase. Okay, just type John has. Okay, then that's just word list flag for word list. So I'm going to use rocky.txt. It's located in user share word list and rocky.txt. Okay, let's run it. Okay, it's a empty form password and I think it's James Thornton. Okay, now let's try to log in with SSS credentials that we just found. Okay, let me clear the screen. Okay, to log in with SSS, ads, you just type SSS ads, username James, and the IP. Let me copy the IP first and give a flag dash i and SSS keys. Okay, let's hit enter. So it says that uh, permission 06 is full for IDRC app to open. Okay, let's first change the permission in IDRC or SSS keys. Let's type CS mode 100 IDRC. So you can just convert IDRC file or SSS keys to writable form. So if you don't know about now uh, this actual normal system. For profile permissions, uh, I just I have made another video on that also. I'll just leave that link in the description below. And I'll try the same SSS command. Okay, it asks passphrase for key. Okay, it's James one three. All right, we kind of got inside the box. Let's get. To use a flag so as I use a flag okay now let's get to privilege escalation part so there is another file named to do the text let's check what it does so what's the message in there there's some sort of message to just write down my password somewhere in the sticky note so that I don't forget it wait till we make a password manager so there's some sort of password manager in this box the password manager that um, this message is referring is maybe there's uh, SSS keys that we just found but this now Check if there are any scripts running with pseudo rights or not. So it asks for James password, but we kind of don't know. Wait. Let's check if there are any clones offs or not. Just cat etc and clone tab. Okay, so there is uh, a script running as root per minute. Yes, build script.sh. I think this is our kind of privilege escalation vector. So, what it does is just call this download src build script.sh and run as bash. So, it is referring to this host of pastor thm. I think we can kind of just change this host name to our machine's IP and 
Let's make another same script build script dot is malicious script that will just spawn bash cell. So let's first change the host name to our machine's IP. Let's check if we can just edit host file or not. Okay, it is actually writable. Okay, now let me open this Etsy host file with Vim. So what I'm going to do is just change this uh, IP of overpass.tsm from this local host to my Pardo S IP. So it's 127.0.0. It's, it's 10 9 8 6 27 so it's my machine's ip okay let's save it first i'm going to make directories like this download i'll always this downloads src Downloads SRC So as you can see that I made this directory download in SRC just like in this Chrome tab of overpass box you can see here it runs this build script.ss from this directory downloads and src now i'm going to make a malicious build script file so let's let me do that build a script bin assets so what will it do is it will just copy bin bass to temp bass and enable suid bit in it so what the suid bit does is just preserve the permissions of the, the our the copied bass and when you run bass then we can run it as roots so this is our malicious script okay let's save it and if the, it didn't work i'm going to just write a pass reversal code okay, now i'm in a root directory where i download an src folder and build script.ssr so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a simple http server using python to do that just type sudo python3 http.server and port 80 okay i forget to give a flag dash m Now I just saw that simple HTTP server on my box and when this clone job runs it will just call this build script.ss from my box and hopefully run it okay, let's just wait okay as you can see here that the script ran so this line shows that it kind of connected with my carry okay let's check if it ran the script or not okay so here is our bass file that is that it copied from bin directory okay, let's run it so what you need to do is just type bass and dash p to preserve the permissions and suid bits are also enabled as you can see it's highlighted in red okay, let's hit enter It kind of didn't work. Then try it once again. That should have worked. Okay, now it worked. As I need it to provide this uh, dot and slash sign it. So to point it at this current directory, I kind of forget to do that. 
Okay. Now you can see that I am a root user now. Where's my EU ID and EG ID value are that of root and I'm also in a group root. So let's get the root flag. Okay, here's my root flag. So now we're successfully in a complete box. So down from this box, we just long how to escalate privilege with misconfigured clones ops. Also, how to crack our encrypted SSS keys. So this was in this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.